exosomes are made of DNA. So you remember your DNA, the DNA is like a twisted helix. But when the cells get ready to divide, they actually, the heel, those, that twisted helix even condenses even more. And it condenses and it kind of looks like an X, an X shaped. So the male, one of the male's chromosomes look, does not, does not look like a complete X, so we call it a Y. So female, we indicate female with two X's. So the sex chromosomes, two X's in a female. If male is XY. So actually the Y does not have as much DNA in it as an X does. So actually females have more DNA than males, really. Okay, so this, we're gonna make a, we're gonna cross these two. And we're gonna figure out what's the chance of having a son, and what's the chance of having a daughter? So we're going to cross the female and the male. And we're going to set up a Punnett square like this. Okay, so we're going to go down and across, down and across, down and across, down and across, down and across. You can see 50-50. You have 50% chance of having a, a daughter, 50% chance of having a son. I want to figure out what is the chance of having three sons. Well, it's 50% to have one son. It's 50% chance to have another son. 50% chance to have a, another son. So one out of eight. So it's possible for a family to have all sons even though it's, you have a 50% chance to have a son each time, right? It's possible to have all sons. One out of eight chance to have three sons. All right, so this just shows how it, the, um, the passing on of these genes is similar to tossing dice, really. So it's each toss of the dice is independent of the next toss, just like this. Having a male first has no effect on having a male a second time. So you still have this 50% chance each time. 